All right, we'll get started. We'd like to welcome Taylor Pendrith into the interview room here at the RBC Canadian Open. Uh, Taylor's making his fourth start in the event and first as a PGA Tour winner. So, uh, Taylor, how does it feel to be uh, back at the uh, RBC Canadian Open? Yeah, it feels great. It's, um, you know, obviously a super fun week for, for the Canadians, um, playing in front of the home crowd, and uh, it's always a week I'm, I'm really looking forward to, and um, nice to be back in Canada and at a beautiful golf course, so I'm um, looking forward to the week. A lot of momentum over the last couple of years for Canadian golf, um, but especially this tournament with Nick uh, winning last year. How much motivation did that win from Nick give you to uh, try and make it two in a row for the Canadians? Yeah, tons. You know, I think it's um, <clears throat> it's a big deal for all the Canadians playing in this tournament. It's uh, it's a major for us. It's uh, the one time we get to be here in our home country and play in front of the home fans. So uh, it's a big deal for for the players and for the spectators and you know the whole country. So it's. Um, it's a huge event, and uh, to, to see Nick do it last year was uh, unbelievable. It was, you know, uh, super inspiring, and um, I think, uh, you know, all the Canadians on tour right now are playing great. So the more uh, the more flags we can get up, up top of the leaderboard and, um, you know, try and chase it down on Sunday, the better, and it uh, it's, uh, should be a fun week. All right, we'll take some questions out here. If you have a question, we'll get a microphone to you. We'll start with John on the left. Hey, Taylor. Um, obviously, the last year you played in the Canadian Open, but you did miss it for a few years because of injuries and, and for other reasons. You're playing some of the best golf of your career heading into this Canadian Open. How does it feel to be carrying that momentum into our national championship? Yeah, it feels great. You know, obviously, I've, I've played some nice golf this year, um, and this is my fourth start here, third as a professional. So, um, like I said before, it's always a week that I look forward to. Um, but yeah, my game feels like it's in a good spot and I obviously gained a lot of confidence with the win um, a few weeks ago. And um, so I'm, I'm looking forward to competing and, and ready for the week. Adam? What are uh, some of your thoughts on the golf course so far this week? Yeah, I've only seen the front nine um, and it's it's really nice. I, I can't really remember it um, before the changes. I've only played here two times before, um, but it's, uh, it's beautiful. It's a little wet and I think, you know, we got some more rain last night, so... Hopefully it firms up a little bit by the weekend. I think the weather's supposed to be good, but it's it's really nice. You know, you got to there's a good mix of holes where you can hit driver and try and push it up. Um, I think they added some new bunkers, so it makes it a little tighter and, and trickier. But uh, if you hit the ball and play, it's, it's it'll be scorable. But it's uh, even around the greens is is a little tricky. So um, being smart coming into the greens is um, going to be key. And um, yeah, making some putts. The greens are pure. What was your first thought when you saw saw your grouping for tomorrow and Friday? Yeah, I was, I was, you know, obviously super excited. Um, get to play with Nick, defending champion, and Rory, who won here last time. So um, should be fun. Feel bad for my parents who probably won't be able to watch me play golf, but it's okay. Go to Kevin on the left. Hey Taylor, um, with being now a PGA Tour winner, how does does your mentality about your expectations and how you approach a week is that different at all? Is there a little bit of a burden off and away or is it still pretty business as usual and do you feel any different as you make your way around a tournament site yeah I think just kind of managing expectations you know um, I think this will be my 77th start maybe or 76 I don't actually know but and I have one win so obviously you know you're not going to win every week you're you know um, obviously I'd like to and um, but that's not the reality so just you know trying to manage my expectations and um, preparing like any other week um, this is a big week we're in Canada so it's um, you know I guess a little bit of added pressure uh, I'd love to perform well in front of the home fans um, but yeah just trying to go through my stuff and, and do what I've been doing for you know the last 10 years before every tournament and um, obviously have a little bit more confidence um, knowing that you know I can I can play well under pressure, so that's good to, to know. But, um, yeah, just trying to, you know, manage my expectations and hopefully have a great week, And but just do what I've been doing. And with the um, President's Cup being in Canada, does that, like, pop into your mind here and there, like, oh, that would be cool to be on that team? And what have the conversations been like, I guess, with Mike Weir and the captains throughout the year? Yeah, for sure. It's a huge goal. Um, 
you know, to have it in Canada, Mike being the captain, he has all the history at that course beating Tiger. It's uh, a big deal and it's, you know, a, a huge goal of mine at the start of the year. And um, I've played well so far this year to put myself into that conversation and um, hopefully have a, a strong summer and, and uh, be in the mix. And it's, a, you know, be a huge, huge uh, honor to, to be on that team in Canada under Mike it would be it'd be awesome so it's it's definitely definitely on my mind um but you know you got to play good golf for that to happen so um just focusing on that what is your relationship with Mike um yeah pretty good I, you know I, I've got to know him better over the last few years um he's been um you know very open to having conversations um he texts me once in a while he texted me on Sunday morning before I played in Dallas um, we had an international team dinner that week, <clears throat> so it was, it was cool to hang out with all those guys. Um, and yeah, he sent me a nice note on, on Sunday morning before and just told me to play my game and go have fun, don't need to do anything different. And um, so, yeah, that meant a lot. And, you know, obviously he's um, somebody who I look up to a lot. He's, you know, a legend in Canada. And um, so it was, it's cool to have a relationship with him. Go ahead. Taylor, uh, what's it like coming into this event and not being asked about being the first Canadian or next Canadian or last Canadian to to win it uh, after after last year? Is it kind of nice to have not to have to answer those kinds of questions? Yeah, well, now I can just answer Nick Taylor, so it's uh, easier. But uh, yeah, it's it was amazing to to see him do it and end the drought um, in that fashion. It was you know still get goosebumps watching the video and um his caddy's a buddy of mine and um so it's uh you know hopefully we can have more of that and um might have to change the canadian open logo next year <laughs> the, and what are your thoughts about the logo uh as a just as a piece of art i guess i think it's unreal i think you know it's it was a iconic moment and it's uh pretty cool it's yeah it's really cool you got one back right, and then we'll go to Jason up here. Taylor, I know you were close a few times before winning. What was the difference between making it happen? Um, you know, I think coming short a few times before really helped me. Um, I learned a lot in the times where I was in the final group and didn't play my best um, and just, you know, learned that I got to stay aggressive um, and try and win the tournament and not let it come to me. Um, and, you know, I feel like you have to be in that position a few times before you do get it done. So, um, but every part of my game that week was, was really good. Um, putting especially, um, I guess, had been my weakest statistic for the last however many years. And the last couple of years I've really worked on it and it's it's been, a, you know, a strength of mine. So. Um, made a couple really crucial putts the last few holes, and so I think that's what uh, that's what got it done. I recall last year this tournament was, I think, a week later, and it happened to fall around your caddy's birthday. Am I remembering that right? Any birthday gifts in store this year? Now that you've maybe a little better gift now that you've won. Yeah, well, it's my birthday tomorrow, so hopefully oh. he gets me something. But uh, yeah, there's it's I can't disclose what it is, but he'll be getting a gift. Come up here to Jason. Um, it's 10 years since your first Canadian Open at Royal Montreal. Had obviously a good week there, but what are your most vivid memories of that tournament? Um, I think, you know, just showing up on site uh, and seeing what goes into a PGA Tour event. Um, I forget what tournament it was, but I just came off of and played horrible, so I had no expectations. And then I shot 65 the first round and was in third. And you know, the next day, um, I guess I made the mistake at night watching all the highlights and everybody's talking about, oh, he could be the first Canadian in however many years. And, um, you know, obviously got myself worked up and I think I shot 75 the next day but and made the cut and played the weekend and played good on the weekend. But, um, yeah, it was a cool, cool moment. I think, you know, there's a record number of Canadians here this week and it's something that, um, you know, we take, you know, it's it's an honor to play in your national open. Um, so I'm excited for all these younger guys playing because um, my first one was, was really special and um, it was a lot of fun just to, just to be around the pros and watch them practice and 
Um, you know, I was 22 years old, I think, and, and still an amateur, and um, learned a lot that week. But it was kind of eye-opening what goes into a PGA Tour event and, you know, playing with some of the pros. I played with Hadwin, I think, my first two days there, and just watching him go about his business was, was really cool and um, something that I learned from, for sure, and kind of implement into my preparation now. Is that result, <clears throat> given it was at Royal Montreal, is that ever something you would just you know, casually slip into a conversation with Mike that you've had some success there before? <laughs> I haven't, but uh, I should, yeah. <laughs> it's, uh, I love that golf course. It's, it's you know, old school. It's uh, it's really cool, cool track. And um, I think the President's Cup, it's going to be a perfect venue for that. And um, it would be very cool to go back there. I haven't been back since, so it'd be awesome. Just, just quickly, is with your shoulder and everything, is it 100% healthy? Is it still kind of a week-to-week -week thing, or where are you at with that right now? Um, I wouldn't say it's 100%, but it's significantly better than it has been most of the year. Um, still working on it daily, um, recovering um, with it, and um, it feels pretty good right now, so it's it's promising, but it's, it's something that i got to keep up with and hopefully get it stronger. And um, Yeah, if it, if it stays like how it feels right now, for the rest of the year, that'd be wonderful. But um, it's still, still a work in progress, but it's, it's feeling good. Any other questions for Taylor? Kevin? <clears throat> Taylor, it's also um, with it being an Olympic year, is that something that's on your mind at all and trying to play your way on that team? I know it's a pretty competitive group of Canadians trying to get those spots. Yeah, absolutely. It's, um, <clears throat> you know, I, I would say at the start of the year, it wasn't really on my radar. Um, but uh, now, uh, you know, I've kind of played my way into the mix, and it's going to be a tight race for the next couple of weeks. So um, it could go so many different ways, uh, depending on who plays good. So um, it'd be an honor to do that. Uh, you know, grew up watching Olympic hockey and, you know, all of Team Canada sports, and it would be an honor to, to be a part of, of Team Canada and, and get to do it. But, uh, like, like, you know, good golf will take care of that. So just focusing on the next few weeks and, and hopefully uh, play well and, and can get on that team would be a, be an honor. Another one on the aisle here. T Taylor, I want to ask you, just as you progress in your path as a pro, um, kind of the process of building a team around you in terms of swim, co swim, swing coach and strength and conditioning and all the rest of it. Is it is it kind of trial and error, or do you, do you kind of ask maybe more veteran players as to how to go around that process? How how difficult is it? How important is it? Uh, definitely super important. Um, I've pretty much had the same team for a long time now. I've, um, Derek Ingram's my golf coach. He's been my coach since I was a part of the um, amateur national team. So that's I don't know 13 or 14 years now, um, and he's great. He knows my game. I'm comfortable with him. He's a great guy to hang hang around. Um, and um, I started working with the physio out here uh, for a couple years. That's helped me with my body and um, you know preparing me week to week. Um, have a mental coach who I've recently started working with again. Who again was part of the uh, national team. So I've known her for 13 years. Um, and you know my caddy's a good buddy of mine um, who I've known forever and. He's been with me for six years, so I wouldn't say there's much trial and error for me. It's more of, you know, I know it works, um, and they're a huge part of my success. They, you know, even in the bad, the down times, it's they're still there for me, and uh, my family and my wife is is a is a huge part of it. Um, so, yeah, they're a, they're a big part of the team, and um, it's um, they're yeah a huge reason for the success. All right, Taylor, those are all the questions we have. Thank you for your okay. time. Best of luck this week. Yeah, thanks, guys.